Hey guys, welcome back to another part in the playthrough. Um, we are heading back to Sister Calderon, who got mugged by one of her own students, pupils, orphans, however you want to call them. <coughs> and we also were wrongfully accused by a woman of harassing her. And now we have a bounty, which we also have to pay off. And there was like in the previous episode, this retarded end of the mission with a pro professor who was designing his electrical chair. Here, this is what yeah. I meant. God damn it. What the, what the holy hell, man. What the holy hell, man. Fucking god, how annoying is this? How aggressive they are simply because I've got the only thing the woman did was walk up to an officer and say, Hey, he harassed me. Well, I didn't do anything whatsoever. And they immediately start shooting instead of questioning or whatever. It is first, I'm getting, uh, I'm bringing like this. Mm, very light criminal not a heavy criminal at all to his uh, own deathbed because he will be uh, uh, put on the uh, experimental electrical chair while taunting him all the way here that really uh, struck a, a, a wrong nerve with me then I am doing another side mission in which I am wrongfully accused of arresting a woman and that and failing like uh, twice it's okay i have to find her without alerting the law i can just as well pay off my bounty right no idea but okay so it's actually part of the mission it's not only get to sister calderon i have to get to her while avoiding the law like that dude over there and they are apparently not this place on the mini map so i have to uh, use my eyes so, hello Pardon. hello can why I don't you stop hey this ain't the right thing to do oh you have like an officer over there there is only one way to get past the officer that is logical that is this little side street and in the little side streets you have like a woman blocking your your um, path. It is. What did they do in beta testing? Unless that woman is there for me to force to take the rooftops, but then it's a really weird way of getting me onto the rooftops. Should better just not make it a path and simply. Oh simply have it blocked off instead of uh oh jesus christ okay so it's not the rooftops because i cannot jump from rooftop to rooftop apparently wow all right where was that agent He was here, right? Yes, he's over there. So he's over there. Like right where Sister Calderon is supposed to be. Wow. Is that woman still here? No, now she's over here. Okay, fine. When I was younger, those child Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. 
thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? I told you. All right, that mission is accomplished. Let's get our bounty cleared. Hmm, apparently there's also something going on over here. Let's check that out. Over here in the wig store, we're over here. No, we're over here. Something going on over here. Now, before doing that, I'm gonna clear my bounty. Screw this, I don't want to be evading each blue dress dude all the time. Way too annoying. Right, I think the <coughs> um, railway station will be somewhere over there where we can pay off our bounty, I hope. Hopefully not run into the law. Let's check it out. Where is it? Um, holy shit, that's far away walking. But let's do it. Probably we will be spotted along the way, considering my luck at the at this time playing in the previous episodes we will go through here Not help me. There it is. We're we're getting close, but we need to keep our eyes open on the law. Don't mind me. Welcome right, back. Finally. No. Wrong button. Oh. Here we go. Ready for a clean slate? Yes. It's all handled. We'll send word out to Lemoyne. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you later. All right. That whole professor experiment thing, really, it simply stopped that mission. So weird that there's a, we had to bring him moonshine and then a prisoner and then you don't see what the moonshine is used for, the, the questions are raised throughout the mission, like Arthur saying himself, I'm not sure what the moonshine will be used for. And he was taunting that prisoner like, yeah, you're gonna be fried, like, uh, like a kettle being struck by lightning and blah, blah, blah. And now it simply disappeared, the whole mission line. Even if it would return later on, I think it's bad game design because th th this is a weird hiatus in in such a storyline and why couldn't I that professor just drive to his uh, demonstration chair with us tailing him and then simply finish the mission right there and then why would there have to have to be a hiatus in between it's not good for the flow it keeps the uh player feeling dissatisfied or even wondering did it end uh definitely or is this only a hiatus it is just really bad game design anyways 
I'm not saying I could do better, but uh, yeah, it's it's, just, it's simply super easy to complain. So that's why I'm doing that. Let's get to Charles Chatonet and maybe also that white dot that was somewhere in the middle over there, because I think that was another dot uh, spot than this one. But we will see. Let's just get back to where we came from. If it's still recognizable, or if I remember it. How is this? Fresh milk. Okay. What the hell is that? Is that a fishing net? It's a bow or a buoy. I actually have not really a clear idea where we <laughs> exactly came from. Wouldn't want to get something to say. like Idiot. was it somewhere here where we came from with that white spot no I don't ah here something yes I think it was here and let's see if that's the same white spot yeah, that is actually the same white spot as the one. Yeah, it was at the wig store. It's the same white spot as on the map, so that's good to know. You're a dead man! Hey! Who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat! I said get out of here! Yeah. This is an outrage! <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? You kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. All right. Now what? That electrical chair mission still didn't uh, pop up. Alright, we could watch a show. No, yeah, it's all pretty far away. Or, yeah, let's just go to Dutch. And the mission is... Hello, why is it not popping up anymore? Because I had a waypoint base. Yes, Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Bronte's house. Alright. We are still looking indeed for that boy that was kidnapped or abducted. I'm not even sure what the difference is between abduction and kidnapping. Let's make it a learning moment of the day. One sec. We do. Here we go. Abduction versus kidnapping. Kidnapping, kidnapping is the taking away of a person by force, threat, or deceit with intent to cause him or her to be detained against her 
his or her will. Kidnapping may be done for ransom or for political or other purposes. Abduction is the criminal taking away of a person by persuasion, by fraud or by open force or violence. Yeah, I still don't really see the difference. Kidnapping usually involves carrying away of a person from one own country to another. The terms abduction and kidnapping are sometimes used interchangeably. No, yeah, this is a really vague explanation. Abduction differs from kidnapping in a way that latter, so kidnapping, is committed only in respect of minor, while the former in respect of any person. That's also not true. In kidnapping, the victim's consent is immaterial, but in abduction, abduction, the victim's free and voluntary consent condone the crime. Kidnapping the video is immaterial. Wow, this is super vague. It's also so weird. In, in, in my Google results recently, a lot of almost all the top results contain articles from Forbes and from Quora, which both are like super shitty websites. And the, the, either it is like uh, malware or um, it is some paid paid content. But it's this was also Quora with the most irrelevant results ever. It's some kind of uh, Wikipedia wannabe. Quora.com. Anyway, um, let's continue on our path towards the vendor Linda game far away. And the police presence in this city is also uh, a bit overwhelming. You know, human nature never changes. Alright, getting close. Here he is. Angela Brunty, a man of honor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. The 
Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Why would they simply let us in? Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why can't I walk a bit faster, people? Wait. Wait. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Hmm, indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that did a very steep woman here. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. Huh? John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that went quickly. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right. Weird um, confrontation. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we <sighs> found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Where the hell that is poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. 
They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. Why but is Arthur Morse going? Now, there's no Braithwaite's left to pay. A bit Jack faster. Much to him no, anymore. he doesn't. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Where? <laughs> Cemetery, here we come. This way. Search the cemetery for the grave rovers. Okay. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell. course really bad let's eat something Expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Master? Peace? One day. What was this? Moonshine. I will take that in a cart. I'll go first. You stick close. First, where? I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. They don't exactly make it too hard for grave robbers, do they? Holy shit. It's pretty maze like. Just trying to find more of those. Open graves to maybe get some more cigarette cards or something, but I don't think there are any. <clears throat> Mabel Harris died 1872. to drink no problem friend died no problem you can hear us you know you're still with us you ah. should get yourself home who was that woman that ran away and do we need to talk with this guy That was actually not that guy, that was John. falling or something maybe a tombstone moving 
Like a hatch out of the way. Oh, totally in the wrong direction. Let's get over here. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. All right. Come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. Hmm. Search the cemetery for grave robbers. All right. What was that? I have no idea, John. I'm not hearing what you're hearing. Oh. Now I did hear hey, something. John. Over here. Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Hmm. That we one guy gave a pretty good loot. Us. Twenty dollars. Also pretty okay. Come on. Eighteen dollars. Check that spot where it all kicked off. Yeah, yeah. That was about here. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. It was around here. Right? Ah, they jumped us from our fear. Where is that buddy? I'm seeing a cross uh, up here. Right, we have to investigate the area over here I don't really see much interesting stuff Maybe there might be something in here got it good now let's get out of here that was a pretty minor set damn the laws here good Come on, let's see if that gate's open locked let's just track back to where we came in damn it 
Pull out John out of the cemetery, okay? Let's go around the side. Not shoot, no shoot out with the police, please. It, I really find it, if that would be the case, really are becoming a bunch of psychopaths. There's someone coming, hide. Yeah, I'm hiding. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just have been killed. They're still here. Come on, John. Stay close. No, I will not let this opportunity slip by. Gold wedding ring. That was pretty cool. At least no shootout with the police. <coughs> Think we lost. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Right, right. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Right, right. I must say, it's a pretty atmospheric setting, this mission. Nighttime, foggy, light bulbs. Well, you took your time. Jack! Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. You okay, dude? Looks pretty fine. He looks actually like a little upper class boy now. Like in a school uniform or something. Private school uniform. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Where are we going? All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. 
One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Right. Where's the camp? Oh, already 40 minutes past. It goes so quickly. It goes by so quickly. intolerable blowhard but he stocks a fine bar how did you fellers get on any problems a whole heap of them we about doubled the population of that graveyard you know i thought i heard gunshots but the gramophone was playing hey they're back i think i see jack abigail abigail we got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. That's like John, the Italian mob your family. Arthur. avant la lettre. Thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> uh, there will be a party oh, again, I guess. Goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah, this probably will be a party. So uh, we will continue uh, check out the party in the next episode and the new camp. And then hopefully get on with some more fun missions. Or this mission was pretty fun, but also not really to write home about in my book. Anyways, hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not ever forget to keep on gaming. See you later.